That duck quacking thing is kind of irritating, not gonna lie. <laughs> what happened to the beep? Whose idea was it to change that? Somebody had to find the, the dude that said, hey, let's use a duck quack instead of a beep for the warning sign. Somebody needs to find that guy and just like string him up by his toes. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator on the wonderful Silver Run Forest map. I'm an old guy gaming, and as you can see, we have uh, pr pretty much moved uh, just about everything, anyway, off of our old property and onto the new property. I do need to get this um, winch over there. I'm not going to take these tools over there, at least not for now, the uh, skid steer tools. I do have the skid steer with the the rock, hydraulic rock drill breaker thingamadoodle over there because we'd have some rocks to break but um so let's see where are we going to start let's um let's jump in a gator and drive to the new property first of all and we need to get i want to before we actually get started logging in earnest um i want to get up to the iron mine and uh, try out the new front loader the, the bucket that i had originally leased does fit on it um and you know just get the iron at least, well, i got to think about that for a minute. Yeah, maybe we'll wait a little longer on that. Maybe we'll wait a little longer on that. So let's just get started with some logging. Um, the reason why I'm deciding maybe to wait, because the iron mine is it's still pretty full. It's not like it needs iron at the moment. Let's just look at it really quick. Yeah, I mean, it's like almost completely full. In fact, yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> Uh, it's it's only been um do I have any paper yet? Oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. I, I thought that green line was all the way already up to full. This thing is cranking out some paper though. Um We'll 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 pro we'll take the first load of this and sell it directly, but I might I might actually set that to auto sell. And then it'll just kind of give us some steady income. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, um yeah, it's, it's only actually been, as far as in-game time, an hour or two since I left you in the last episode, even though it's been several hours for me in real life. Uh, so let me show you what I've done. Um, I've basically took the forestry mulcher and cleared all the underbrush and foliage out in this little area over here. And then I've got uh, a bunch of equipment staged up there. I put a bridge in, as you can see. Went down, got a container, and got the uh, excavator with the harvester ready to go, and got the new backhoe here. Or, I'm sorry, not backhoe, front loader, and another container. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... We do have some rocks that we're going to break up, so we're going to do that first. And um, we should be able to probably pick up two or three of these rocks in, you know, just one bucket load here. Um, well, two maybe. Anyways, we'll see. We'll just see how that goes. Okay, so let's get uh, these rocks dealt with first. And then we'll go from there. Okay, uh, let's see if there are any other rocks that are kind of in the path of most resistance. <laughs> um, I don't really need to remove all of them. They kind of add some flavor to the forest floor, but if they're right in the road of where we're going to be working, then they're a bit more of a problem. Um, I think I'll leave that one there for now. Unless, it, like I said, it proves to be an issue later. So that's probably all we need to do. There is actually one more rock up here that's kind of in my staging area. Not that that's that big of a deal, but I guess we could go remove it because why not? Let's do it. Very good. Let's park this skid steer here. And we'll jump in the front loader and scoop up the stone and then put it in a pile somewhere. 
This is, by the way, the n the new front loader. Very amazing machine, man. I love it. We should get lots of good use out of this thing. Okay, so we got almost two stacks in there. Let's see if we can get this last little bit here, too. Let's put some lights on so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Okay, so two of the rocks fill this up at 85%. Good to know. A little kind of quacking noise that it makes is quite irritating, not going to lie. Quite irritating indeed. Um, let's just put the rock pile next to the bridge, I suppose. Oh, is it because I'm too close to the water, maybe? Um, all right, where else do I want to put it then? I guess we can take it up here somewhere. We're going to log, eventually log everything up here too, so. Maybe we'll stick it right next to the, right next to here, if it'll let me. Let's see. Yep. Okay, let's get the other pile over here. What a nice machine. <laughs> I love it. Okay, did we get all of it? I can't see from that view. Looks like we did. Good. Now what we might do at some point is take all this stone and up to the the crusher. But I'm not really honestly too worried about it now. I, I like the kind of role play that we're using it for, you know, gravel when we do like little roads and stuff like that. Now we want to get the claw on here. So let's put the bucket just up here somewhere for now. Oh, actually, hold on. We'll put it next to the forks down here. Okay, nice. So the plan now, I'm trying to just think about a good strategy here. If we if we pull the truck forward more. Maybe to about here. We'll open that up. So 
So if the logs, if we kind of tried to stage the logs like here, we go forward, we scoop them up, and then we kind of back this way, and then, you know, try and swing them in like this kind of idea. That's kind of what I'm thinking we should do. So make this spot right here kind of the place that we yard the logs to. Probably for the first few logs, we'll just drive them over here in the harvester, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so now that we've figured that out, let's bring you over here. and get started with some logging here. Uh, whoops. I want to have the easy crane mode on because I like that mode for using this machine, but I don't like it for like the, the pal finger cranes. I don't like the easy arm controls, but I do like it for this. Plus you need that on for it to mark the tree anyway. Now, so I don't forget, the very first tree we're going to hit is one that's kind of at the end of the this road that makes it, that's kind of in the way of the truck turning back out on the road. So let's just grab it first again, just so I don't forget. I still need to come up with um, like a tipper trailer or something like that to put the scrap wood in um, for the pulp mill. Alright, why isn't the target thingy coming on? I don't know. There it is. Okay, our first cut on the new property. Let's drag it back to the landing. So yeah, these first few trees that are fairly close to the landing, we'll probably just drive them over with the harvester, but once we start getting a little further out, we'll hook the yarder up. Okay, I'm thinking right about here-ish. Let's make sure we're set to nine meters. Okay. And then cut away. Now we need to go back to six meters. And um, why don't we make the six meter pile You know what we could do? No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Okay. Let's put the six meter pile maybe where the the Volvo is. So, yeah. I'm just trying to figure this out, you know, making it up as I go kind of thing. Actually, you know what? I don't want this down here at all. Let's put it up by the other stuff. So we'll put the 9 meter logs on this side, the 6 meter logs on this side. And I guess we'll put like the nubs to the right of the 6 meter logs. I think that's our plan. Oh, I didn't want you to turn, spin all the way back that way. That's good.
Okay. We're off to a good start. Let's cut some wood, folks. Alright guys, that should be enough for us to get a full container load, and probably then some. Um, okay, a couple things. <coughs> I like my setup here, but I want to get all this, I want to get this stuff out of here. We, we shouldn't have anything at all in the landing loading area, first of all. Secondly, um, I'm still having a little bit of a struggle trying to get these really big logs lined up. Um... Well, I don't know if a struggle is the right word. I just, I still, I, I just haven't figured it out yet. And maybe it's not even possible to really do it. I mean, I'm sure I could do a better job of it. But the thing is, is you know, once you start using the yarder, it's just a big cluster, <laughs> anyways. Uh, you know, once the yarder starts bringing stuff in. So, let's do this. Let's get, 
these other tools out of the way first. And I might be able to... I know I can lift, definitely get the bucket with the smaller loader. I'm not sure about the forklift. We'll find out here in a second, though. Let's do that first. And then um, what, I, what I'm hoping is that we have enough... Um, nine meter logs for a full container and then have a few more along with the six meter logs to take down to our paper mill. I'd like to get my paper mill completely full if we can. So so yeah, we'll just move all this stuff up with all the other equipment up on the hill there. And you know, my, my plan is to log all of that out completely and then we can take all of our equipment that's up that currently up there and then stage it down here and then yard all the all the lumber that's way up there all the timber that's way up there back to the landing here so that's kind of my my strategy as far as that goes but i like i, I like the setup overall i mean you know we can we can drive in here with the truck Okay, so the truck drives in and around here and then parks here. This is our nine meter pile. This is our six meter pile. This is our scrap pile and this is our dead wood pile. Um, so it, it's working out actually quite well so far. So I'm pretty pleased with uh, how that's going. But yeah, we just, we don't really want any tools at all down here, so. I need to get, actually get this bucket up to, you know what I should do not, now that I think about it? We should just keep this bucket here and use it for, you know, when we have to pick up stone piles and get that larger bucket that's made for my wheel loader and use that up at the mine. I'm going to assume that it can handle that, you know, handle the weight. I would hope so. I mean, it's the largest front loader in the game. So if that can't handle it, nothing can. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Can we latch on to these or not? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to use the big front loader to get those out of the way. Fair enough. Okay. Let's get the tractor. And I'm actually going to run the tractor back up to the house and get that uh, get the winch and blade for it too this thing is very front heavy <laughs> with this big bolter at it but normally I keep the the winch the bigger winch on the back of this so it functions as both a counterweight and you know a winch and a blade for pushing so quite versatile the reason I don't have it on now is I needed to use this to haul the yarder down, so that's that's why it's not currently attached. All right, we have to be right in the center to get across this bridge. There we go. We're good. That uh, Demco trailer there too. We need to get up to the mine, but. I want to, what we're going to do in the next episode, tentatively planning to do anyways in the next episode, is we're going to see if we can get a conveyor system working up at the mine. Because if we can, then we don't even need, like, you know, the front loader up there with the big bucket and all that. I just don't know if I can get it to work or how well or practical it will work. So that's the tentative plan for the next episode, unless I change my mind and we do something else. All right, I'll see you back at the landing. So I have one log in here that I accidentally dropped in that's not supposed to be here. So let's get it out of here. Drag you over to the six meter pile and cut you to six meters. That's going to be too big for me to pick up, but what we can do is use this log to measure it. It's just about six meters, isn't it? Well, now it is. 
And that goes in the scrap pile. Okay. All right, now for this mess, um, let's go ahead and see if we can straighten it up a little bit just to make loading a little easier. We're going to have a lot better time with this now with the big loader than with the little one, so we don't have to worry about things being seriously overweight and all that. Well, at least I don't think we do anyway. grab this log out of here. Just because it's in a really weird position. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Oh, man, darn it. I was hoping those would fall into the fork. That duck quacking thing is kind of irritating, not gonna lie. <laughs> what happened to the beep? Whose idea was it to change that? Maybe somebody will come out with a mod to change that back to a beep. All right, this is gonna be a mess. Oh, maybe not. This thing can pick these logs up like they're, they're feathers. <laughs> That's nice. Even though we got a huge mess here. Let's see what we can do with it. I like my new wheel loader, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that spruce in there. There we go. Alright. This we should drop and just re-pick these two up. The other thing that's nice about this that we couldn't do on the smaller wheel loader is... Oh, well, I guess we don't need to do it on this. But I can point the claw more... Sh more ver I can get it more vertical, which helps, you know, with picking the logs up sometimes. There we go. Um, all right. What I want to try and do here, I think, is... Let's close these. I want to try and push those upper logs over a bit. 
Yeah, like that. So I can get this front section without a lot of trouble. Anyway, what I was saying was I can go really straight down with these, whereas I wasn't able to do that on the other front loader because it didn't, I guess it just didn't have the range or something. So that lets me, you know, kind of scoop them in to the forks a little bit better. Oh man, I love this wheel loader, you guys. <laughs> I'm so glad we bought it. I just don't like the duck quacking, man. Somebody ought to find the the dude that said, hey, let's use a duck quack instead of a beep for the warning sign. Somebody needs to find that guy and just like string him up by his toes. <laughs> I'm sure they, they probably figured Let's make it really irritating and really obvious so people will pay more attention to it. <laughs> Never mind the the poor sucker that has to drive the thing for, you know, a 12-hour shift and listen to it constantly. We'll just uh, we'll just set up some mental health eva um, mental health sessions for him. <laughs> oh boy. Takes all types, right? Takes all types. All right, what I'm going to do here is let's let's get these forks out of the way actually first. Let's try some first person action in our awesome new wheel loader here. At least the duck quack sound isn't quite as loud inside the cab. Nearly no stinking bridge. Not with this thing. Alright, let's back up and get our claw hooked back up, our grapple. Should be able to pick up these three lodge poles without too much difficulty. Alright, two then. We'll take two. I'm curious to know, because you know we will eventually try the the big ginormous claw thingamadoodle you know the overhead loader and you know once we do I'm just curious to know if that's if I'm gonna like that better than this setup because you know this is the best log grapple that I've come across in this game uh, it's a mod you know it's not base game but it just works better than any of the other ones I've tried But, you know, I, I might like the overhead lifter thingy better. I won't know until I try it. Okay, looks like we can get one, one to three more logs in there. And then we'll have a few left over, which is great, because those we're going to take to the paper mill. Um, okay, let's see if we can get these other two lodge poles. Wow, 
Well, it's not pretty, but we got it. Let's try this in first person. It's it, it's just it's fun, you know, to do this in first person, but Spatial awareness, depth perception, all that is not like it would be in real life, so it's it's kind of can be kind of hard to do and do well. We just turn that this way and drive it in there. There we go. I think that's it, guys. Yeah, we got a full trailer. Okay, fantastic. That's. I'll bet you the rest of those nine mil logs that we have there are nine mil nine meter logs will fill up our paper mill um, and especially with the six if we also throw in the six meters and we'll throw the dead ones in too just just for the heck of it um okay so let's just set these down right now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run you know is that truck still for sale it is you know what we're gonna buy this we're just going to do it because I can have one truck delivering while the, the next truck is picking up the next container. This is on sale, and I think we'll do it. But let's change it to this. Let's change it to this design. We don't need GPS. So that way we can kind of tell them apart. All right. I'm glad that this is still on sale and I didn't pass that up. It's a little bit on the old side, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. So what that means then is we can, um, here, let's get this out of the way. We can um, call ahead and have our driver. We we need <laughs> we need to do something about role playing how these drivers are working out. I mean, we don't act we don't have to, but I want to just for funsies. Why is that light still on? There we go. Like, so are there just like oh, Okay, let's say let's say that there are there are young men, it could even be old men in town and they're just there, they know lockers need them to uh, you know, hire them as drivers. And so, you know, we can hire a driver like, you know, for with an hour for an hourly rate or something. I mean, we're paying him anyways. The, the game is paying him. So what we're going to do is we're going to call ahead, which means I'm actually <laughs> going to have to teleport because that's the only way I can actually do it. Um, and, and we'll have the driver here in our new truck, which let's go ahead and actually I kind of like that white stripe. That looks good, man. It's not bad looking at all. Um, let's get this fully repaired. Whenever you buy something used, of course, it's not fully repaired, which makes no sense whatsoever because most people that are going to sell something used are going to make sure it's in good condition before they try and sell it, but whatever. Um, let's repair it. Okay. And um, we need to... Oh, you know what, though? Our... Our drop deck is already up at the up the ramp. Crap. Okay, how much does it cost to lease a third one of those? Even if, even just temporarily. Otherwise, I'm gonna have have to have to have him run all the way up there. Maybe. What, does he have a hitch on the back? Just a normal hitch? It doesn't look like it. I was going to say we could maybe get a tipper. All right, I know what we'll do. We have the other Demco tipper at the at the first property. We need to get that over to the logging site anyway. So we'll, on, we'll only do just a, a little bit of a... Uh, uh, what are they, what's the term for it when you do a dry run in a truck? I can't remember. There's a, there's a word for it. I just can't remember off the top of my head what it is. 
something you want to try and avoid as, as much as possible because you're not making any money. Yeah, okay, so let's grab this and take this down to the new logging site. Because the idea is we're going to put the crap pieces in, well, at least in this for now, maybe not, this might not be our ultimate solution. But, you know, I don't want to try and put those small scrap pieces on a, like a logging trailer. I just want to put them inside of a, a tipper. What I'm actually planning on using this for, though, is for iron ore. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea to have two trucks, especially since we got this one on sale. It's a little older, but she'll be fine. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's go. Why don't we pull this right next to the stream? And next next to the scrap pile. Okay. And then uh, it's close enough that we can just chuck those little pieces in there. Because I think pretty much any little piece we put there, we'll, we should be able to carry by hand. Okay, let's get the other low boy, and then we'll send this guy back down to the store to get the next container. Um, no. Sorry, change of plans. We're going to actually load... Uh, connect to this trailer, because this is the one that's going to haul the wood down to... Wait, did you connect? There we go. Down to the paper mill. There we go. You know, that rock we right there, we should probably remove. So we will put that on the hit list. And in case you're wondering, no, I'm not going to use the crane to load these logs. We're going to use the front loader. But we will have to get the crane out of the way. So we have to deploy it. And then raise it up. And let's also turn it this way. Good. All right, now, next order of business, we need to set up an auto drive course uh, to this property. Turn the lights off here. So let's get that done next. We got to get that stump out of there too. Okay, let me think about this. Um, it probably doesn't make sense for us to go up here. Well, it could, I mean, it's going right to the mill. So we would just go up here, come around, down, and into the mill to offload. Eh, it might be faster just to use the highway, though, because then we're not going up winding mountain roads. And this, this does get, you know, that is a hill, so it's going to slow the truck down a little bit. Yeah, okay. So let's get up here. And turn on the nodes. What I think I want to actually do... Um, here, let's get out to here. Can we get to the container warehouse from here? Yes, we can. Okay.
So what I'm going to do is turn around. Okay, so starting right here. Let's record just a really short two-way. Just about that much there. Whoops. Okay, and then we will link you up to that. Actually, no, not you. Uh, let's link you up to this. Doesn't really like to curve. Well, okay, that, that should work. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to record a... Let's back up just a little bit. A one-way going into here. You know what, though? We end up having a big load of deadwood logs there. This is not ideal, so we better have it come more towards the center, I think. I'm going to have the two-way go to there. Okay. Now, uh, turn that off. Whoops. And we want this to stay more kind of in the center of the landing area. That truck's right where I want to go, but I'm not moving it, so we're going to have to just go right through here. Okay, let's make the target here. Uh, so we're going to call this, uh, what is this property? This is 18. Okay, so we are going to call this, um, <sighs> we're just going to call it 18 load. come back out through here that stump's not gonna ultimately be there but we'll still do a nice wide turn anyway and then just hook this right back into the two-way okay and then Oh, there's already a two-way there. I think that was just there from the game, though. Oh, you know what? I set that up on the wrong side, didn't I? Okay, hold on. I'm going, what in the heck's going on here? Let's just remove this. Man, that, now that's all a mess. Have this come into here and have this go to there. Okay, and we got to figure out which one of these is. Okay, that, yeah, we can delete that one. We don't want to delete that one. I think we can delete that one and that one and I, and this one that's X'd. Uh, 
Okay, so we just broke this link, but we should be able to just hook it back up, and then we're good. Okay, I think we're good. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, let's just test. You always want to test these routes, make sure they actually work. Okay, so I want you to drive to 18 load, which you should be able to do. Okay, now I want you to drive to Container Warehouse. Okay, so we have to figure out where that link is broken. I wonder if the problem has something to do with this two-way. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah, see, it was broken there because it was connected to that two-way, but we couldn't tell because it looked like it was okay. All right, I think that is the culprit. Okay, we know it's good from here. So let's take it on the other side of 18 load. Okay, now can you get to container warehouse? Ah, there we go. Okay, I think we got it working. Finally. All right, I'm gonna um, just follow him down to the container warehouse and make sure everything else is good. It should be, but you never know. And I'll meet you guys down there for the sale. Okay guys, we made it without incident. And the sale is 69,000. Okay, that's pretty low for nine meter logs. But I think it's probably because we had a whole mess of spruce in there. Uh, okay, so now can you make it back to 18 load? That's a good sign. All right, fantastic. All right, you guys, let's see. Um, let's turn this off. I'm going to load the logging trailer with the rest of the wood and then maybe see if I can get the six meters on top of that and then run it down to the paper mill and get the paper mill topped off. After that, um, I'm going to keep logging and build up our money until we have $250,000 and then we're going to buy this sawmill. What I'll probably do is bring you guys back in the next episode when we're ready to buy the sawmill. We'll do that and then we're going to head up to the iron mine. We're going to grab all the iron that's up there, take it down to the roller coaster and also see if we can get a conveyor system working up there. So that's kind of, that's the plan <laughs> for the next episode. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.